Welcome to Bama Bo's News Hour. I am your host, none other than Bama Bo. Our top story today, the Alabama Crimson Tide took to the football field for their first scrimmage last Saturday. How did they do? Well, there were some ups and there were some downs. After coming into the national championship game in the second half his freshman year to ultimately win it, he then goes on to start every game his sophomore year where he takes the tide to the national championship again just to come up a little short and was also a Heisman finalist in New York last year and let's not forget with only one knee and only one ankle. This week Nick Saban finally announces Tua Tunga Vailoa, the starting quarterback for the Alabama Crimson Tide. No way! In other news, Jalen Waddell is scary good. Who can forget last year when he burst onto the scene as a freshman with this crazy mad skills at receiver, the jump cuts, he was so elusive, he could blow past the defender. Well, now it's his sophomore year. He can only improve from that. The feeling is that when the season starts, Waddle will leave the defenders questioning their career path. The offensive line has the potential to be spectacular this year. I'm looking for these guys to create holes that even this guy can run through for a touchdown. The concern right now is still on the defensive side of the football at middle linebacker. We feel like right now Dylan Moses is going to be the one to step up and be the signal caller, but who's going to join him? Who's going to help contribute to this football team? We've got to look at the depth and what guys around him are really going to step up this year. We need these alpha guys. That's something to really watch moving forward. The final scrimmage will be held this Saturday. With all eyes on the linebackers, we can only assume that the kickers are probably breathing a sigh of relief. In other news, with Auburn making it to the Final Four in men's basketball, there appears to be a new craze going on in the state of Alabama. Some Alabama fans are saying, yes, it's okay to cheer for Auburn. Other Alabama fans are saying, no way would I ever cheer for Auburn. Joining me today is the new modern day Alabama fan and the hardcore Alabama fan. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome now, let's start with you, the modern-day Alabama fan. Give me your take on why it's okay for Alabama to root for Auburn in basketball. Like, oh my gosh. I mean, I don't really care, like, either way, really. Like, I mean, I'm an Alabama fan, like, through and through. But I don't really care either way, although I did see some totally hot guys on Auburn's basketball team. Stop just a minute. Hardcore fan, would you like to join in and give us your opinion on this? Frank, is this camera on, Frank? Are you there? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Th thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Listen, I just am a firm believer in that Alabama, if you're an Alabama fan, you just root for the Crimson Tide year round. Year round. You root for the Crimson Tide. You don't root for Auburn. I just wasn't raised that way. It was not proper to do. But so, like, oh my God, like, I don't really care if, like, they win or they lose. I know one thing, though. I know they're super mm -hmm. hot. You just didn't I mean, root I don't for those Auburn basketball. Basketball. I, don't I don't watch care what anybody But I do know we that they're super hot. hot. Because one of my we friends were raised were super to believe hot. And that I believe the Alabama her. Crimson and Tide so, like, is the focal point that. of and then our at the end nation. Of the day, really, I'm telling you, our nation. We all stand up. Okay, 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 stop just a minute. Stop just a minute. Only one person can talk at a time. Modern day Alabama fan, please finish your thought. Really, isn't it important that we all stand around and sing Kumbaya? Hardcore Alabama fan, I'll let you have the final word. Here in Alabama, you always watch the Alabama games on Saturdays, then you get up and you go to church on Sundays. There you have it, two completely different sides. Why you should root for Auburn, why you shouldn't root for Auburn. I'll tell you this though, just my personal opinion. I never like to see Auburn win at anything, I don't. But at the top of the list where I don't want to see them win is football. So when all this is said and done, if Auburn wins this tournament, great, they'll be known as a basketball college. Doesn't really affect me either way. Long as we can beat them in football, 
I can live with it. If we're all being honest, most Alabama fans at the end of the day, if Auburn loses, will be doing this. And if Auburn wins, they're in the SEC and they're in the state. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. So basically, at the end of this, that's really what's going to happen. Either way, I won't lose any sleep. Until next time, roll tide.